Hey everyone and welcome to another SEO tutorial. This one is about your local SEO and specifically inside of Google My Business the changes that have come along inside of service areas. Alright and let's go take a look at how you might have seen this inside of your email. Alright inside of your email you may have gotten an email that comes from Google My Business and you're going to see something like your business name and then it'll say review the changes for your business profile. This may seem like something that you've put off, but it really would be a big mistake to put this off. And let me show you why. Okay, here we are inside of Google. And if someone searches for, let's say, a given service like car repair inside of a given town like Rockville, Maryland, when you do that search, the first thing that comes up here right below the map are these Google business listings. And Google uses your service area that you provide inside of Google My Business as to where you are going to show up in these right so it's a very important thing to have your service area set okay? not only just inside of a regular Google search but let's go take a look at it inside of Google Maps okay here we are inside of Google Maps and again we've gone ahead and done the search right car repair in this case we used a zip code we could have just as easily used a, a town name but again here is what comes up right we have the business listings that you have and should be keeping up to date when we search for a service inside of a given area Google uses that service area that we provide to build the results so this is very important that you do this now this is uh, this is October well late September October of 2019 and Google has just changed let's go take a look at that change and how you can optimize your local SEO Okay, so here we are. You probably have gotten this email, especially if you have a service area set inside your business listing. So if we go ahead to this email, we click on it, open it up, and we you can read through all this, but basically what's come through is that there's you need to review your information because there's been a change. And that is, as of, again, September, October of 2019, is the service areas. They're no longer allowing you to simply say we are X amount of miles away from our business do we do service so you can't say oh we do service within five miles or 10 miles or 15 miles you now have to specify that okay and we'll take a look at how to do that by first clicking on review my information it'll take us right in there if we are logged in with the same account that has claimed owns or manages the Google My Business listing. So we'll go ahead and click on this. And it takes us right inside of Google My Business. Now, we're going to go ahead and use us for uh, for an example, but really we have a lot of these things not set optimally, okay? So, so we do this a lot for testing. Uh, don't take everything in this as what you should be doing. We, we purposefully have a lot of these things missing because we're testing them, okay? But once you're inside of here, you're inside of Google My Business, you're logged in with the account that can edit this. And that's either the one that claimed it or the one that manages this account. And of course, we need to be on the Info tab over here on the left if you're not automatically there, like if you didn't come in from your email. And then we come over here to Service Areas. And we can click anywhere in here and it'll open it up. All right, so here's an important thing. You can pick multiple ones of these. You don't have to just select one Right, but you do want to be accurate so don't don't make an area so large because then what will happen is Google will actually water down where they put you into service areas so make sure that you're accurate here and you can add these a lot of different ways you can either add it by city name like if we say Rockville Maryland right it brings up the option and we click on it okay now we see it's added now we have United States in here. You're probably not going to want to do that, but right, Rockville. Uh, you can also put in zip codes. So if we just pick, uh, we'll just pick some. All right. So now that we see these two are in here, of course, if we want to remove them, we click. We can click on the X. We'll leave these for that. We can clear the whole thing. Right. But you're going to want to do your research. You may want to do that research through uh, Google Maps to see what fits around you. How to add these. Now, if you're a BT Foom member inside of one of our company, and you can join right now through October 2019, 
for uh, a discounted price, fifty uh, percent off. That's five dollars a week. So, and if you can't afford that, hey, we understand you, and that's why we build these free tutorials. Uh, but if you're a member, you should be looking for the the full member video, which has much more information in it and how to optimize this. So uh, check your email if you're a BT Foo member to make sure that you're watching the the member version of this video, not just the free version. Okay, but. Uh, another thing I should mention is with the zip codes, if you're a BT Foom member, you can go ahead and request a zip code and city list for your state. So we'll take a quick look at that. Okay, and here's an example of that list. And again, if you're a BT Foom member, you can uh, always come through the contact page and ask, hey, we would like a uh, an Excel spreadsheet or a comma separated value. Either way, however you want to look at your uh, spread sheets, you can go ahead and contact us and we'll send you out, if you're a member, we'll send you out a, a zip code, city, county, and state list for your given state. So that can help you out, again, if you're a BT Foom member. And this has all of the zip codes in it, right? It has all the towns and you can always sort these, right? Maybe you want to sort them by zip code, maybe you want to sort them by city, uh, given for your business. Maybe you know that you search uh, excuse me, you service an entire county and you want to be able to add those, right? So if you want, you can sort this by county and then pull the zip codes if you want, or you can sort it by county and then pull the cities inside those. Either way you want to do that, you can do it so that when you add inside of your Google My Business, you have an organized quick way to do that. We do that as a benefit to uh, BT Foom members. So feel free to contact us if you would like a free uh, download sheet for your spread sheet for your state. And this is good not only, of course, for Google My Business, but it's also good for a lot of other SEO things, right? Where you want those zip codes and you don't want to have to go through and try and fight and find them. Just go ahead and contact us and we'll get that out to you. All right, so let's go back and take a look inside of Google My Business. Okay, so here we are back inside of Google My Business. And like we said, if you have that, you can go ahead and, and just drop in real quickly all of those zip codes that you want. Or you can drop in all of the towns that you want to make this a really fast process. Of course, you can also go ahead and put in counties, right? In our case, we'll go ahead and say um, Anne Arundel County of Maryland. So we'll click on that. All right, so you can see how a lot of these different things can apply. You can go really broad, you can go down to the town level, you can go down to the zip code level, you can go down to the county level. And that's really going to depend on how you want this to work. And then of course at the end of this, you'll just go ahead and click apply and you'll notice it takes three days, up to three days, for it to be published. Okay, So we'll go ahead and click on that just for kicks. All right, and again, as a warning, uh, this is not the way your whole Google My Business should look. This is just an example of the service area. All right, and I hope this helps with understanding how that new email is important. And I hope it helps in that you add your service areas accurately for the areas. You don't wanna to go too broad, too wide, or else you're gonna get watered down and not rank high, right? Not be in that pack three. I'll go show you what that looks like again. So here we are back inside of, of Google. And with this search, right, here's the pack three, right? We do that search what comes back, there may be some ads above this for you, and then the map, and then these three, the now the pack three, right? So the more you water it down and say, oh, we go in all of these areas, the less chance you have of ranking really high. So if you wanna be just found really high for one town, go ahead and only pick that town. But understand, Google's not going to then put you into search results for other neighboring towns. So. This is uh, information where you're going to have to use your business brain a little bit and see where this works for you. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Google Maps again. So here we are again inside of Google Maps and how this works. You'll notice it's more than just the pack three here. It's a whole bunch. And if we scroll down, right, we can see even more. So there can be a lot of those. All right. All right so I hope this helps with you being able to add a service area updated for what Google's new regulations are. Thanks, and if you'd like to sign up for a more in-depth tutorial with more of the numbers and some helpful hints with when you pick this many towns or that many towns, your ranking goes down, or when you pick less and less, your ranking goes up. We've got those hard numbers, but they are proprietary and they are inside 
for BT Foom members only. So if you'd like that for only $5 a week, you can come on over to btfoom.com and sign up. Thanks, and I hope this helps. Mm -hmm.